Hi everyone, welcome back to Stamp with Anna. And today I have the last card from the card class I just held, which focused on decorating your cards on the outside, on the inside, as well as making a coordinating envelope to go with it. And that just steps your cards up one more notch. Everyone can do, um, can appreciate the, a beautiful outside of a card, but when you open it up and you see that someone took the time to decorate the inside of the card so that it coordinates with the front and then went one step further and did it on the envelope, that just makes your project, it just elevates it another level. So this is the uh, card we'll be making today. And the stamps I used uh, come from the Butterfly Basics stamp set. Sadly, this is going to be discontinued. It's retiring May 31st. My understanding is, however, that the stamps are guaranteed available through mid-May. I'm not certain on the date. Um, I want to say it's mid-May, and then after that, it's while supplies last. So I wouldn't take the chance of losing out on this if you really like it like I do. It just is such a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. From the fern to the two butterflies and the honeycomb, it, it's just beautiful. And this flower, uh, it's gorgeous, embossed in a solid color. You can also watercolor it. It with pencils, with uh, alcohol markers, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And you also do have this nice border um, image there. So without further ado, let's get started on our card. The first thing we're going to do is work on this piece right here. And I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is cut at 4x4. Four four. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to use the stitched shape square this is the largest square and it comes from the stitched shapes framelits which are just it's a they're a set of 12 four squares four circles and four ovals in um, ascending order in different sizes and they have this beautiful stitching on them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this through the big shot and then I'm going to use the frame part of it as a mask to make the inside of my card. So let me go run this through the Big Shot and I'll be right back. Okay, and here I am. I have my square, the frame part, which is the negative of my die cut. And I have my square that has the stitching on it. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to, with the basic black ink, or you can use Memento, or if you're not going black and white, you can use whatever color you'd like. I'm going black and white. So I am going to come in and I'm going to stamp my flower in the center of, center of this. And I want the top of my flower to hit right under that stitching and I want it centered. So there we go. And the reason I have a piece of scrap paper here is because obviously my stamp is larger than my paper and there is my um, focal point. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to mount it on a small piece of basic black cardstock. I'm going to center that up and I'm going to put that aside. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of Whisper White that is cut four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to lay this where I think I'd like it to be, right about there. And then I'm going to come in with the sentiment that says, Happy Birthday. And again, I'm going to ink that up, and I should be using my pierced mat because it is uh, a photopolymer. I'm going to ink up my sentiment that says, Happy Birthday. And I'm going to put that underneath my floral square. Okay, now I have some ribbon. And this is, I believe it's retired. It's a thin black ribbon. And I'm going to make a fobo. I'm going to take the long piece of ribbon, lay it flat, and take the shorter piece and lay it across right in the center. I'm going to hold the middle. 
and I'm going to tie. I think I'm going to tie a knot. Jeez, let me try this again. Turn it over, and there's my knot. And you could make a bow if you wanted, you could make whatever you wanted, but I just like a knot on this. I didn't want it to be too busy. I trim my end, ends, <coughs> and now on the back side of this, underneath my happy birthday, with some snail, I'm going to put a little bit adhesive. Excuse me. And then I'm going to attach the bow. I'm going to center that in the middle and run that across. And I'm going to put some adhesive on that. And attach that to my basic black card front. I'm gonna center that. Got a little bit of glue here. I'm just gonna take that off with my glue eraser, and we're good to go. Then I have. I'm gonna take my matted flower, and I'm going to put that right there and the front of my card is done I'm gonna put that aside and now I'm gonna work on my um, inside. so I'm going to take the other piece of whisper white that I have and then I've put some repositionable tape on the back of this frame and I'm going to lay that right here and now I'm going to sponge. I'm using that as a mask. And I'm going to bring in a quartered sponge. And using my basic black, my black archival, I'm going to ink up my sponge. And then I'm going to stamp off or sponge off, off to the side. And then I'm going to come in and just make some round swirls. Now when you're sponging, you do want to make sure you come in off the side of the paper and not directly onto where you're, the area you're sponging. Otherwise you'll end up with a blob right in the center. Okay, now when you're doing this, you do want to be mindful of where your paper, your mask ends right here because you don't want any ink to go past that. Now because we used a low-tech repositionable um, adhesive, this is going to come right off. Throw my mask away. And if you have a little bit of adhesive, just take that right off. Now with the sentiment that says sending wishes your way, I'm going to ink that up in black. And I'm going to, I want to make sure it has a lot of ink on it because this is um, so dark. And I'm going to just drop that right in the center. Perfect. And now I'm going to attach it to the back of my card. To the inside of my card, excuse me. And there we have it. A nice, simple, elegant card. Wasn't that pretty? Now we have to just take care of the envelope. And what I'm going to do, I have my envelope. I'm going to bring in my scrap paper again. And I'm going to tuck this in here so that I'm just going to stamp my image on the flap of my envelope. And I'm going to ink up my flower. And I'm going to put the flower in the center of my flap. And then I'm going to ink it up again. And stamp off to the right. Ink it again. And stamp 
off to the left. And when we remove our scrap paper, we have this beautiful image on the flap of our envelope. However, we can take it one step further and we can turn our envelope over to the so that the it's facing up and I'm going to again ink up my stamp and this time I'm going to make a little bouquet of flowers right here on the corner going off of the envelope and there we go isn't that a beautiful envelope now this you get a card in the mail that has a nicely decorated envelope both the front and the back or just the front or just the back you don't have to do both the card inside of it is just going to be so much more special because it's it's made it's a beautiful set I hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products I've used please contact me through my blog www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com and remember, this stamp set, Butterfly Basics, is going to be retiring at the end of May. So get it while you can. It's only guaranteed through mid-May, and then it's while supplies last. Thanks so much. Have a great day.